How can one learn to not be angry? Or how can one learn to love instead of being angry? It's nothing you need to learn, really. It's just something you need to remember. The anger comes from a belief or a misunderstanding of who you truly are. Yes, we know that the physical body can sometimes have a reaction. It needs to get out of the system because it's so suppressed with feelings. So it needs to have a way out. And that you call anger sometimes to release that tension and that stuckness of the flow of life source itself. Because actually what you are feeling is stuck energy. Things that you are not or have not allowed to flow. And that can actually be anger because it's your power that you're holding back. And it can be sorrow because it's your deepest feeling and your despair that you're holding back. The wanting to love but not being able to love. And you will feel that as sorrow in your heart. Therefore, it's about remembering who you are and allowing, as we say, who you truly are in all aspects of you. Because when you don't allow all aspects, you are becoming more and more contracted and you will feel what you call this negative emotion like anger. So when you stand up for yourself, that's okay, it's true for you in that moment. We tell you, allow it to flow and you will feel flow. And from flow comes the feeling of love. Because flow is the natural state that you are. Blocking is how you stop life itself. And that's why you're dying so early on this planet. Because you're stopping, you're blocking. While you could fl actually allow things to flow. And your body would live much longer than it does today. That's another chapter. When you say flow, do you mean flow of all emotions expressed? Yes. Emotions, thoughts, feelings, anger. Mm. Allow it. Allow it. Don't take it on to your mate. Don't hit your neighbor and say, I'm just allowing my anger. <laughs> no. That's hitting yourself. Yeah, but it's expressed into words. It's okay. Into movement, we would more say than words. Yeah. Into allowing inside and then allowing the body to do what it needs. It can be words, it can be movement, it can be actions actually that you want to change the world. I'm so pissed up with how things are. Yes, I want exactly. to do exactly <laughs> this. That is also a way of flowing because your heart desires a change. A moment. Yeah, because you feel that it's stuck in the collective field. When you feel it's stuck in the collective field, you will feel it inside of you because there's no separation between you and that energy. And when you feel stuckness, your natural deepest instinct is to make it flow. Mm. And that's why you become angry with the world and you project to the world. It's not about the to the world, it's about the stuckness you're projecting on it there. Yes. So the movements wanting to have a change on the planet is actually a movement collectively resisting and now standing up for the stuckness of the flow. Yeah. And it's coming in so many forms on your planet now because you want to be free. Course. Because you are free and mm. when you are blocking your natural state something deep within you is resisting that in a sense that it wants to make change to it and it wants it to flow again. Yes. So yes, you're correct. Allow it. But allow it in the form that the body and, and the senses needs in that sense. But don't judge it on to others. Allow it to flow in the form that's loving natural for you and for all of the, of the beings. Mm. Thank you.